Well, here we are again, textual criticism of the New Testament, introduction to the ancient uh, New Testament translations. Again, we are utilizing Kurt Alon's book, The Text of the New Testament, and let's get started. I'm going to give a brief introduction to the ancient translations, then we're going to look today at the Old Latin and the Latin Vulgate. Translations of the New Testament text begin to appear around 180 CE. Now, in textual criticism, their value has been overrated in Alon's estimation. Too great a weight has been placed on them to uh, attempt to recover the Greek of the New Testament text. Given that we have much earlier manuscripts than those uh, that make up the Byzantine text, uh, there's, in his opinion, there's really no reason uh, to rely so heavily on the translations. However, they can be valuable for textual criticism when they either are derived directly from the Greek, in other words, they're a translation directly from the Greek, or they're revised based on a Greek text. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's say we have our translation. If that translation comes directly from a Greek manuscript, if it's coming directly from the Greek text, then it is valuable because it's referring back directly, it's translating directly from the Greek text. But it's also valuable for textual criticism if, as with the Septuagint, the, the later recensions of the Septuagint were attempts to get back to the original Hebrew. And so if a translation is revised but it's being revised based on uh, a Greek manuscript, then that also is valuable because, again, it's, it's going back to an original Greek manuscript. It is not relying solely on a non-Greek source. Let's look at the Old Latin. Latin was a very important language, obviously the early church. The earliest Latin of the New Testament we can find in the quotations of Tertullian. Um, which he began to write uh, the latter part of the second century. But Latin manuscripts of the New Testament do not uh, regularly circulate or they're not, they're not found until around 250 CE. There were so many copies by the end of the fourth century that the complexity of the Latin manuscript tradition had become very, very great. Now, the Latin Vulgate, was thought to have been produced by Jerome in the late 4th century, you know, during this period um, where the textual tradition, the Latin textual tradition, had become very complex uh, due to the significant number of manuscripts. Now, Jerome revised the Gospels, so he, he himself revised the text of the Gospels, and he translated afresh from the Hebrew, uh, translated the Old Testament again from the Hebrew, However, the text outside of the Gospels, the Pauline letters and Revelation, was completed later by an uh, unknown source, but we know that the Gospels were revised and the Old Testament was translated directly from the Hebrew. Now, if you want to see a list of the most important manuscripts of the Latin Vulgate, you can go to Alain's book, page 192, and he lists them out. So tomorrow, we are going to finish up the versions by looking at the Syriac, the Coptic, and a handful of other versions that are found of the Greek New Testament. So stay with us. Mm -hmm.